And the fact that I just, I saved and then I did all this right after. Oh man, it makes it pointless because now I'm going to screw up on what I need to do. And I already went in the wrong direction. So let's go this way. Let's head left. Because we have ourselves another boss fight. And it's one I believe we've already heard about. So let's open her up. Because ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait a minute. This is the billiards room. Uh, so ladies, here here we have ourselves Slim Bankshot. And um, I don't know why he, or how he got that name. Might have been because of his thin and fragile physique. But he's going to be launching these lovely balls at us. So don't appreciate that. And hey, I'll take it. Don't hurt me. Give me the heart. And is there a speedy spirit in this room? I don't think there's a mouse. Just in case, let's grab that gold bar, the winnings, and top off our health. Now we need to hit him with three of the balls here. So let's grab one, smack him in the face with it, and uh, rinse and repeat. Just a couple more times. Ooh, there we go. Luckily, this isn't the ghost I was thinking of. This one, I think, might be another uh, completely optional one, but I don't remember. You probably still want to grab them anyways. So I'm going to grab this one. I call full colors, please. There was this billiards game that we used to have on the computer, and it was so much fun. I thought that would get destroyed, and he hurt himself. Um, and I don't know what it was called, but it was so much fun. Come on. Oh, I'm going to... I... Hmm, why? Okay. It's got to be my controls because I've seen videos of people getting that number to just go down instantaneously. And we're playing on the Hidden Mansion, so the vacuum is 1.5 times stronger than it normally is, roughly. And for whatever reason, it's just, I cannot get it to go smoothly. Because otherwise, it's weird, it's dumb. We're trying that again. All right, Slim, Mr. Bankshot, listen. I know back in your heyday, you used to hit a mean eight ball into the corner pocket or other. And I know those days are long over, uh, mostly because you're dead, but I don't appreciate you causing my controller to uh, freak out and have a ruckus. So um, I'm just gonna miss you a couple of times so that you can appreciate how hard it is for me to get to this point constantly, miss every time because perception of direction space and time is so weird and I'm gonna get you this time with feeling and I get hit into the craps table see it just it stutters I can't get it to just uh, it feels incredibly unnatural because it's so easy on the 3ds version and I don't think that is a product of the technical aspects I think it's literally just my controller is bad but I don't want to get a new one because they're expensive to get an officially licensed one. Oh, there's something actually there. All right. Oh, it's Boohoo. Dude, come over here. Let me give you a hug. With my sack. There it is. My vacuum pack. All right. Stop. I have a special bit of information. You've seen some small ghosts? Well, I'm pretty sure they're ghosts freed from the paintings of the ghost artist Van Gore. I had a pass out of trouble the first time I captured him. I know that artists strive to give life to their canvases, but this guy brought ghosts to life every time he picked up a brush. Well, that doesn't make sense. He's a ghost, and he's bringing back ghosts. That doesn't make him alive. Essence de la ghost equals death. So, I don't know. I just thought maybe we should know. Anyways, money! I will take all the cash and appreciate that uh, golden plated frame later on. So we also get to enjoy another silver diamond. I'll take it. And also a couple of those. Why not? And it looks like we also have ourselves uh, a fan to contend with here. So let's go and rotate that for a minute. There it is. Yeah. And before you know it, it's going to be raining. Rain and bills. Hallelujah. They're freaking out. Did I collect anything there? Even though bills are the second cheapest things you can get, they feel so unsatisfying to collect. Even the coins feel better to collect than bills. And they're always just flying around and being crazy. Oh my god, we got rid of those cobwebs. That was awesome. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. I don't care much for pointy objects. Alright, what about this one? This is pointy as well. Oh, but he has nothing to say about it. It's a picture, but I wouldn't call it art. Well, you know what, Luigi? I wouldn't call your face art. Look at this thing. 
Look at every time you look around, you have to scurry in place. And you whistle through your teeth. How dare you? What is that? Oh, that's his vacuum behind him. Okay, that white thing. I guess I should have known after seeing the back of it for 20 years. <laughs> God, can you believe this game is almost 20 years old? That's wild. Anyways, enough about that. We've got ourselves the lovely projection room. And uh, I don't know what the point of this area is, if it's for films or, you know, pornography or what, but there's no chairs to speak of. All you're doing is just watching movies standing up, I guess. So, I don't know what to tell you. Hey, but there's coins in the ceiling. Thank you. So obviously to get this room going, we gotta pop on the uh, projector, and we have invisible enemies, much like the mirror room, we're gonna have to contend with things we can't see, although there are shadows, and why you'd get into the thick of it is beyond me. Excuse me, sir. You did not make your presence known. Don't appreciate it. Okay. Anyone. Anyone coming. Maybe we should have kept the projector off. Uh... Oh, there we go. How's it going, friend? I'll take that. There you go, Mr. Twirler. Did you also have another one? No, you didn't. Oh, you spawned over... Oh, hi. Okay, well, didn't get that guy in the back, but that's fine. Didn't need him. I've been getting, like, a depressingly low amount of, like, double suctions and stuff. I, uh, I love getting multiples in a row, and they even set them up for you a lot of the time, but... I just have been getting really crummy luck on this. Maybe I'm more used to the regular mansion, but man, it's a little depressing. Okay. Oh, hey there. Are you the last one? Uh, no? Oh, here we go. Alright, well. Just wait him up. Ah, damn it. Oh, hey, excuse me. Man, talk about death by a thousand hugs. Thank you. And I feel like the projector really does nothing in this instance. You have to really watch for the... No. For, like, the dust that they kick out. There we go. Man, I am bad at this. So, because we have a red chest, you know what that means? We find a red item in it, and it's a glove. Excellent. I need an extra one. And, of course, it's a little sweaty. Also, I'm assuming Mario's knees are quite uh, numb, and he's just dropping all of his stuff everywhere. Okay, so let's go find that boo. Anywhere. Where are you in the projector? Yeah, you are. You dummy. It was a ball, too. Oh, hey. That's not even where the thing was leading me. So we got Shambu. Don't know what his business is, but he's done. We got him. Whew. And uh, we're not doing too bad. New information? Elements. Anybody will tell you they form a triangular relationship, which is to say water beats fire, fire beats ice, and ice beats water for some reason. Alright, well, thanks for that uh, lovely bit of trivia. I appreciate it, I guess. And I don't think there's anything else in here. I have a feeling I'm missing something pretty big, but... You know what? That's fine. Speaking of missing things that are pretty big, screw this projector. I hate it. It needs to be replaced by something better. Something bigger. Something... Booier. Uh, so it's, it's literally the same exact thing, although it's stretched out this time. Get out of here. Whatever you say, man. Whatever you say. I don't even want to hang around anyway. Yeah, so I think we've uh, pretty much exhausted everything we need to do here, which means now it is quite possibly time to do something better, more fun, more exciting. And uh, overall, just something we need to do. So we went into the astral hallway for just a moment. And uh, I would like to be able to bring some fire in there. So a better way to do that than to pick up some money from this china cabinet. It's hoping for health and all honesty. But, you know, more importantly, we'll grab some fire. Despite the fact that this is our house, we need to burn some stuff inside of it. Namely candles. And that's going to be all the way upstairs, man. So, um... Luckily, we do have a shortcut back up there, but welcome back to Luigi's Mansion, ladies and gentlemen. Ori is now sulking across the wires, so this is not looking very promising as far as uh, clean recordings without too many edits in it. Right now, I've performed exponentially worse than I ever have in this project so far. And Ori is now behind the TV, so... What the... Did that guy hit me while he was getting sucked in? What in the world? 
All right, that's fine. I guess I only just recovered all my hearts for no reason. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Back into the spooky hallway. And that did not grant me results. I did you, sir. Okay, people s laughing. Okay, so we're gonna have a minor gauntlet here, but you know what? That's why you play this game. It's for all the ghosts y'all be taking out. You know, busting them up and then droning. Oh, okay. Purple fire. It's my favorite. Oh, hey. So it's time for a couple of fights here as we get scared by shy guys and regular punches alike. Excuse me, sir. I love the look of that lovely mask. I'd love to save it for later. Thanks for the heart. Anyways. Ori, can you get out from behind the TV? Why did that not work? No, no. Don't auto-aim at the shy guy, please. I'm getting distracted by the cat and I'm getting killed into a corner. This is lovely. Thank you. Go. Go. All right. Oh, hey. It's another one of you. And you. Okay. I grabbed his uh, mask somehow. And your friend is going to harass me as I... There we go. Wanted to go this way so I didn't get hurt by this man. The man in green. The one that is not a creative color. Thanks for the hearts. Holy smokes. I just really know how to hook it up. Oh, hey. It is Boonswoggle. Alright, well, Boonswoggle, it's nice to meet you. If you could not leave into the hallway before I'm done with you. Unfortunately, because he was in a dark hallway, he's much more difficult to collect. And so, I think, uh, as far as things go, that is all the way back in Area 1. Like where we fought our second ghost, the ante room. That's where he ran off to. <laughs> we'll grab him later, I guess, after we do this relatively long segment that is completely unnecessary to the plot. So, I will take this heart. Wait, there's something else in here. It must be a boo bomb. Can we also get these candelabras? Apparently we can. Uh, are you going to be in here? In the chandelier? Alright, see ya. Cool your jets, please. No. It's gonna be in the last thing that I check, and then he's gonna run. Nope, it's bomb. A giant one. <sighs> Anyways, we head over here for one of the most um, spectacular parts of the game. As we enter the observatory. What do you think up here? In the chandelier. I do adhere to the rules of physics and reality. You don't mind dropping something? Thank you. So yeah, this is kind of an interesting room. I wonder what Luigi has to say on this pointy object. I'd like to visit outer space someday. <laughs> By God, Luigi. Um, yeah, sure. We'll we'll make that happen. We'll let you visit the galaxy or something. Was somebody trying to show off or what? I don't know. Ori, you need to get the hell down. He's now in front of the TV. Ori. Ori. Oh my god, he's gonna like put his claws up. Hey, go. You hear him pitter patter across the, <laughs> the cabinet. Okay. Anyways, we take a look through the telescope, and all of Luigi's wildest dreams will come true. It's the moon. Okay. Well, for whatever reason, we opened up uh, time and space to be able to kind of view space, and we have this weird gas ball. And should we aim it correctly, um, that didn't look like where it was going to go. We need to shoot for the moon. So let's try it with some slightly better aim. Maybe this? Uh, maybe? There it is. So, uh, Luigi wins a mansion and decides to destroy the moon. And as a result... Florence and or the machine gives us the happiest ass jig for walking through space across light to collect a star. Which is so weird and completely out of place. I don't know. Despite the supernatural elements of this game, I feel like this is kind of like a weird thing to include, but... 
We collected Mario Superstar. My, what a glittering butte. Nothing from old Elvin? Anyways, make sure to bring a change of clothes so we can sail our laughing pianos along a beam of light. But I'm quite alright hiding tonight. Let's get out of here. Man, I watched Submarine the other day, and that movie has held up extremely well. I mean, I probably haven't seen it in maybe three or four years, so I would have been early 20s, but... It still is, like, great. If you haven't seen it, I would consider it one of my favorite movies of all time, if not only for the soundtrack. Believe you me, folks, it is fantastic. Uh, it's on Amazon Prime and at one point probably Netflix, but I'd recommend just buying it <laughs> and watching it uh, regardless. Oh, there's another room up there. Oh. There's another room up there. Um... As much as I'd like to go and do that business, I'm probably going to screw it up if I try to do it without saving. So let's do that real quick, and I'll meet you guys back there in just a moment. But first, let me take a selfie. And actually, since I'm back in the area, uh, let's go and visit up this boo that ran over here, because I know I'm going to forget if I don't bother now. All right, man. What was your name? I don't even remember because this is how little I care, but you, Boonswago, Neener Nya Nya. All right, well, sure. Whatever you say, my friend, you're done. And with that, we've collected uh, quite a lot of them. Almost half of the booze have been contaminated, or contained, rather. Also probably contaminated. 